Kitchen in Bangkok, Thailand. And I'm here today with Paul, one of the owners of the shop. Hi. And Paul is going to show us how to measure yourself for handmade clothing, okay? And this can be for trousers, jackets, or shirts, okay? It's a very simple process. And if you want to do it yourself at home so that you can have these measurements available to send to tailors to make clothes for you, this is how to do it, okay? So it's very simple. Paul, can you just demonstrate uh, how we do this? Yeah, sure. Where it's, do we start? Uh, it's pretty simple. We start with the shirts and the jackets first. Okay. Starting from the measurement of the neck. Oh, we're going to do the neck here. Yeah. Uh. Just comfortable with about uh, two fingers inside. Two so fingers So that uh, we inside. have uh, enough room to breathe. Okay. And uh, that's for the neck. And then we come to the length of the jacket. And you're going to tell us the little things to watch for with each of these measurements, right? Yes, Make sure that's that right. we do, do it From correctly. the nape of the neck and up to the knuckle of the thumb. And the measurements what we are talking is all in inches. But we can get the measurements in centimeters as well. So that is not a problem. Okay. Okay, then after this we come to the, the body measurements. The first, the front part of the body. Start with it. No, just the arms down. Okay. From just one side to another side, the biggest part of the chest, from the armpits. Mm -hmm. And then, after that, we take the measurement of the chest, again with the couple of fingers inside, so it moves freely around the body. So it's a little bit loose. Yeah, a little bit loose. Okay. And then the rest of the adjustments are being done during the fitting. Okay. And then same thing about the stomach. Mm -hmm. Here again with two fingers inside, so it's a moving freely okay. and then after that we come to the back side of the jacket and shirt which is uh, for the shoulders and sleeves okay. but before that one we take the back panel again from one armpit to the other armpit and then after that we go to the shoulder from one edge to another edge and then just move here and then from the edge of the shoulder we go all the way down up to the wrist and then add additional about half an inch in the length. So go another half an inch from yeah, the wrist? Yeah, another side. half an inch from the wrist. Okay. And uh, that's a measurement for the jacket and the shirt. Okay. And then after that we come back, uh, come to the measurement for the trousers. Okay. Starting from the waist, this one we need to see carefully a little bit on this part that we have to take the measurement of the part where is uh, you feel comfortable while wearing the trouser. Right at the top of where the... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're like uh, right uh, just under the tummy. Okay. And then after that is the hips. All right. The measuring the biggest part of the hips. Again with the two fingers inside with a free movement. Mm -hmm. So that uh, it doesn't get uh, too tight. Then the next one, it's the crotch. Okay. Crotch, we take it from the back side all the way up to the front side where the waist starts. So from the top of Just the pants the here to top the, of the top the of the pants in the back? In the back side. And not back too and tight? Not too tight. Okay. And then the biggest part of the thigh. And again you got to... Again with, the, with some two, free movement in that. Two fingers in there yeah. sort of? Okay. And then after this we come to the length of the trousers. Okay. Length from the side. Okay. From the waist all the way down to the heel. This That's is the outside length of the pant. So that uh, idea of taking it up to the heel so that it gives a nice break in the front of the shoes. Mm -hmm. And then we take the bottom part of the trouser, the cuff. That depends on the individual choice, how big you want the cuff. And that's the measurement. And you just measured half the cuff there? Yeah, half the cuff and okay. then we multiply by two. Okay. Yeah. Great. And that's it. That's it? Yeah. That was pretty simple. Yeah, pretty easy. Pretty painless. Yeah. So that's how you do measurements for any type of clothing you want to make. It's really very simple. If you just be careful and follow the instructions we just showed you, uh, that's all you're going to need to get any kind of clothing made uh, by any tailor. Okay. Now, the other thing you can do is if you have a piece of clothing that fits you just the way you want, you can always just send it to the tailor. You can send it to Paul. They can exactly duplicate uh, the piece of uh, clothing with any type of fabric that you want to use. Okay. So it's really easy to get handmade clothing now. Uh, that's about it for our measurement tape, yep. our measurement video, I should say. And we're going to make some more videos, 
okay, that it will cover making shirts, making pants, and making jackets. Okay, so we're going to show you exactly how it's done in, it, in the uh, tailor shop, how they cut the materials, sew it together, everything that goes into it. So you'll know more about handmade clothing. So thank you very much for watching this video. I'm here with Paul at Ambassador Fashion in Bangkok, Thailand.